guys, it's Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode, I think this is, yeah, eight. Episode eight of the Ice Guy and his cool female colleagues. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. It should be the Christmas episode, right? I think that would be cute. <gasps> ah! Big boy move, yes! Finally, finally. Eight weeks. Eight freaking weeks and the sister is finally making it up in a pair. It's oh my god. Awesome. You want to go on a trip? Oh my god, look how cute she is. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Baby, you're gonna make it too cold. Like, push yourself forward. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh. She tried. I know. Oh, she's doing good. <laughs> no more bunny slow for you. Oh my god. He really is. Are we sure she's ready for that, though? <laughs> well, lucky you, we meet in the sister. So. Oh, ain't that funny? It's this ski lodge, ain't it? Oh, 
But it, it is. It's very likely she's going to be here. Uh. <laughs> She's so cute. Found it. It's okay, baby. It's the internet. We're all known for different kinds of things. Yeah. <laughs> huh? No, he's actually really fine. He's a really hard worker. That's the look I love too. <laughs> And it makes the most sense. Well, we're girls. We literally will pack several bags for like one week for a trip. Don't even imagine if it's a month. I think it'd be way worse.
about your sister? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, damn. By yourself? Wait, hold on. Oh, we all know you're looking at her and not the tree. Oh my god, that's a cute... <laughs> Goodbye, I'm dead. That was cute. Thank oh. Yeah, but you know, they had their little moment. They're fine. The fact that everybody is getting their cute little moment, oh my god. Yeah, so what happened to the earrings? Oh my god. That's why you gave the earrings away. She would have liked the earrings. I think even if you got both items for her, she would have liked it.
Right. Mm. <laughs> Yuki was like, uh uh, like, mm mm. But, like, I don't get the context of this with the good job ish. You know what? I'm going to leave him on read. Okay, she's precious. I love her. Oh my god. But finally, eight weeks, and we finally get to meet this girl because it was so weird every single time when you would see her in the ending. And I'm like thinking, we're probably not going to meet her until like the very last couple of weeks of this show. But I'm glad we finally got to meet this girl today. She is adorable. She, she literally is like the female version of her brother, except just cuter and adorable as hell. Like, oh my god. But just seeing them bicker was just too freaking cute. I mean, come on now. And then she instantly falls in love with <laughs> My brother is like, hold up, <laughs> what you doing? That one? Yeah, that one, that one's mine. Back up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but I think this key episode and trip was really nice. It was sweet. I mean, you know, both couples got to have a cute little moment together and that's what you always really want you want them to have like yeah the moments were all for them together as a group but then you want them to be separate and then just to be on their own and stuff it's just so freaking cute and like, yes couple things so adorable Oh, something good, and you'll be a part of it, and of course everyone else will, which is going to be really fun next week, I bet. <laughs> I mean, Yuki, because she is a YouTuber slash streamer and is a really an influencer at the end of the day, um, she gives me feels to like, okay, this is always around Christmas time, from usually the week after Thanksgiving. Whether you, no matter where you live, but the, I always see it, the week after Thanksgiving, any YouTuber I am subscribed to, male, female, whoever, that's when we start getting the countdowns of Vlogmas, and it's so freaking cute, because it's like, you get to see, you know, I mean, when you're watching regular vlogs on, like, a daily basis, and you get to see what people are doing on their normal daily basis, and stuff like that is cute, but when we're getting the countdown to Christmas and such, it's a different feeling and you know it's like oh my god we're celebrating the holidays and you know family and friends and da -da -da -da, and such it's really to me it's more interesting seeing people who um live on the opposite side of the world the, the ones that are i always i can't speak the ones that I, I will always watch the most are like literally japanese ones because or people like who this one girl who i watch i don't know if she still lives in japan there's a couple of girls who I watch who either live in Japan, they live in Korea, or I think one of them just recently moved back to Japan. Um, one's from Australia, the other two are from Canada. And what they would do, they have like a whole thing in, in Atlanta. They'll go here, there, everywhere, and it's just so freaking, you know, sweet because, you know, as someone who wants to go to Japan, it is a lot of money that you have to save up for. I don't know how much. Um... You have to save for it, but you get to see things, even though, like, at that time, probably you didn't have money and such. I mean, I've seen people go to the freaking Kirby Cafe, and with the Kirby Cafe, you gotta do it in a month in advance. 
And I'm like, oh my god, like if, if I was ever to go for a month, then I have to literally plan that ish in advance because I would love to go to the Kirby Cafe or like the one place, it's the art museum. It's a very interactive art museum where you're walking around and you know, you're walking through water and so many different things. And this is the place where a lot of people tell you like, oh, hey, wear shorts or if you're wearing a skirt, try to wear a skirt and such because there are mirrors and everything around you. They, they've been highlighted in, um, the Monogatsuri series. And so there was an episode where Senju Nohara and um, Agaragi went on a date and they went there and I was like, I want to go. <laughs> go there like so freaking bad. It is like my number one thing. But unfortunately, by the end of this year, I think they are closing it down in Tokyo, which sucks. And it just, it, it gives me hope that they could come to America to make it a, a version in America because then I can just go and like be happy, but then still want to go to Japan and such. But it's just the goal. Like, I, I want to do it. We're going to do it. Yes. <laughs> but this episode was so freaking cute. I, I hate the fact that, you know, he, he changed the gifts and gave her a blanket instead of earrings. Because the biggest thing is we know she loves to wear earrings. She always has earrings in her ears. Yes, she loves the crap out of cats and stuff. But the earrings would have been nice too. Oh my god. Like, that was very thoughtful. But... Because he overheard those two girls talking and he felt like he was being a little too pushy. I understand that at the end of the day. But I think if he gave her both the blanket and the earrings, she would have been okay with the group, um, with the gift. How I would have accepted it. I mean, like, come on. Blanket and some earrings? Yes. The one thing you just don't really, like, okay, when it comes to Valentine's Day, you don't want to give a girl a heart necklace. I've heard that from so many freaking people. Do not ever give your girlfriend, significant other, a heart necklace. No. I will take some flowers and some chocolate and some jewelry. Don't give me a heart necklace. <laughs> Other than that, guys, that is my action view towards episode 8 of the Ice Guy and his cool female colleague. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode 9. Bye, guys.